Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Thomas, an apostle of our Lord Jesus. Let us in this Mass imitate St. Thomas. Let us touch Jesus so that Jesus may turn our doubts and disbelief into faith and trust in Him. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
Do you still remember our gospel last Sunday? Do you recall the story of that woman who was suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years? How was she healed? Remember that that woman approached Jesus and touched Jesus' clothes. And by touching the clothes of Jesus, she was healed. Her illness was healed by simply touching the Lord. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of St. Thomas, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. And our gospel today is a story in which Thomas is well known for. Thomas did not immediately believe that Jesus truly rose again. In many ways, Thomas is wounded. He is wounded because Jesus, his friend, his master, and his Lord died. Sino mang nakaranas na mamatayan ng isang mahalagang tao sa kanyang buhay ay talaga namang makakaramdam ng sakit sa kalooban, sugatan ang kalooban. Thomas is wounded because with the death of Jesus, his hope and the hope of the other disciples also died. Umasa sila kay Jesus na magliligtas sa kanila. Pero namatay si Jesus, kaya nawala na rin ang kanilang pag-asa. Thomas is wounded and is hurting. And how was Thomas healed? By touching the wounds of Jesus. Jesus invited Thomas to touch his wounds so that by touching the wounds of Jesus, the wounds of Thomas would be healed. By touching the wounds of Jesus, all his doubts and disbelief were removed. His doubts and disbelief were changed into faith. By simply touching the wounds of Jesus, Thomas was able to declare, My Lord and my God. Doubt was removed. It was changed to faith by simply touching the wounds of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we too are like Thomas. We are wounded and hurting. Maraming dahilan kung bakit tayo sugatan Bakit tayo nagdurusa? Like Thomas, we also have many doubts. We also have many reasons to be disbelieve God. And the invitation to us is no different from the invitation of to, to, to Thomas. Jesus also tells us, Touch my wounds. Let us touch the wounds of Jesus because it is only through the wounds of Jesus that we will get healed, we will get well. My dear brothers and sisters, what are your wounds? What pains you now? What makes you suffer? Touch Jesus. Touch the wounds of Jesus and receive healing. 
Huwag kung ano-ano ang kinakapitan. Huwag kung ano-ano ang hahawakan. Baka lalo lang tayong lumala. Si Jesus lamang ang kapitan. Si Jesus lamang ang hawakan. Sapagkat sa kanyang mga sugat, tayo'y napagagaling. And we are not just talking of our personal wounded woundedness and hurts. We are not just talking about personal healing and wellness. The wounds of Jesus could also cure our societal and communal wounds and hurts. Yung sugat ng lipunan, yung pagdurusa ng lipunan, kaya ring pagalingin ni Jesus. And this is somehow implied by St. Paul in our first reading today. St. Paul tells us, Through Jesus, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred to the Lord. Through Jesus, divisions in society, divisions in the family could be held together once again, could be healed because of the wounds of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let us imitate Thomas. Let us touch the wounds of the Lord. And may touching the wounds of the Lord heal our own wounds, our society's wounds. May touching the wounds of Jesus lead us to greater faith, deeper trust, and the more mature love for God. Please stand. With faith in the risen Christ, whose wounds are the signs of His victory, let us bring our intentions to the Father of mercies. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may not be wanting in manifesting our faith, for unbelieving people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That there may be growth in the Church of Asia, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That hardened sinners and unbelievers may overcome their doubt and embrace the true faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are overburdened with life, especially the lonely and the sick, may experience the joy of Christ's resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may share in the glory of everlasting life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, as we make our intercessions deepen our faith, that like St. Thomas, we may love and adore your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs>
Dios. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Thomas, now and forever. Amen. And may He, who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles, make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all, now and forever. Amen. So that through the intercession of the Apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.